Welcome Cancer to your July bonus reading. Um, so if you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So if you are new, how we do things here is we're going to use this deck, which is called the AF Tarot deck, do some tarot and then lovers of oracles. I am going to pull the price of love for you guys to get the energy of this connection that is coming in. Also, um, we have the hidden truth messages. So if you are dealing with anyone, uh, past, present, future, however, this is going to tell the actual hidden feelings, okay? It gets more in depth in this person's feelings. So let's go ahead and get started with the reading and see what is coming in for you guys for the bonus reading, okay? Let's see. What messages need to come in for cancer? Whoa. <laughs> we have the six of wands energy just flying out there. We have the four of rings in reverse. And we have the ten of wands energy. Bottom of the deck, we do have the six of cups. So this is more of past energy here. And then I am going to pull the price of love for you guys and see what is coming in. We have, it looks like possible a twin flame energy, okay? Oh, and then we have grief and sadness. All right, now just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So we have past energy here and twin flames. We have the four of pentacles, the queen of wands, the chariot, and the hangman. Page of wands, six of cups again. Four of Swords, the Emperor, Justice, and the Three of Swords. There's that grievance here, okay? The, the sadness, King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay, Cancer, so you might have dealt with a Twin Flame energy, um, so which a lot of passion here, attraction with the Six of Wands, feeling attractive, feeling recognized, but something quite didn't um, work out with this Four of Rings in reverse. So there's a lot of blockages and delays within this connection. Now, this could have happened in the past, present, or something you're coming out of. But I do feel like you are still pushing through this challenge, okay? So I feel like this is the final push for you here. But the only thing is with this challenge is this chariot. So this could be a feeling of like there was just so much heartbreak, so much betrayal. And this justice card is here to show me that you didn't, uh, they didn't take responsibility of their own actions. But I feel like sometimes they could come in your life for some of you. If they do, it holds you back from charging forward. So the chariot is more of like a green light that you're moving forward, you're charging forward, but it's stuck right now, okay? Now, there's a message coming in with this page of wands energy, possibly someone that you probably blocked. You're still holding on in a way, but they're wanting to come towards you because they find you very attractive, okay? I feel like this is kind of like a game energy. This is like a person who, you know, calls once in a while, but you know it's not gonna go anywhere. There's a lot of waiting and, and all of that. And there's so many times I feel like you're wanting to surrender this person, but for some reason they they, they sneak back in, right? They, they, they send you that message. And so, um, but I feel like they're just not taking responsibility and there's so much heartbreak and this, se this seems like a, uh, like a makeup to break up type situation. But I do see here with this four of swords energy is that there's separation when what you don't see coming, right? This is you removing yourself away from this person, this past energy possible felt like a soulmate, a lot of passion, you know, it's like a mirroring of each other, um, and I feel like this separation, you know, happens a lot, but I feel like you are taking your power back with this emperor energy. Now, this emperor energy could be the other person. You could be dealing with an Aries, could be the father of your children, or this can, you know, be some, or this could be you here. Okay. Just taking your power back, taking uh, your life back here and um, setting some boundaries. Now, we do have this King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So there could be somebody around your energy that's wanting to collaborate with you. 
uh, maybe a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but there's like this energy of like uh, back and forth, like with your the emotions here. Definitely someone is wanting to come towards you from the past. It's clearly right here, but there's been a lot of heartbreak. Um, we have separation, which, you know, they're walking away. You both are walking away from each other. There could be a feeling of codependency as you're like, you feel like you're handcuffed. Now, these type of energies feel like this person like literally has a spell over you. Okay. And um, I mean, because there's just so much attraction. There's so much history. So it can just feel like you're just locked with this person. But it brings so much sadness and grief here. And I feel like you're dealing with someone's shadow side. But also, I feel like you are coming into this realization of how this person is, you know, manipulates. Okay. I feel like you're seeing right through that here. All right. Um, to where you're seeing that it is a dead end. So let's see what this person has to say to you. I know this is a very strong reading i didn't expect a reading like this but with tarot you really don't know what messages are going to come out and i feel like this is for someone that needed to hear this um as you know as you're moving towards something wonderful it's just like you're at your 10 so you could feel like things are like pushing you down at times with this when this person comes in it's like that temptation feeling because there's so much history but really like you're in the surrendering mode okay you're in the surrendering mode you're wanting to move forward now let's see, what does this person have to say to Cancer? I, <laughs> I find you so attractive. Yes, there's so much chemistry and I do love you. Now, it doesn't say like this person does not love you. It's just, it's, you know, it's toxicity, it's inconsistency, it's, it's too much history, right? And it's like, if you tried more than one time with this person and all there is attraction that's keeping you together, you know, that's, I mean, it is hard, especially dealing with a twin flame type energy. Um, but I feel like it, it just brings so much sadness to you where you feel like it's not going anywhere anymore, right? You know, and it's, it's like, you're giving yourself that that time for your mind to rest and I feel like you have more power the more that you distant or block this person like if you don't communicate with them or talk to them you have it's like your your energy recharges but the moment that they come in you could be ignoring them for like a minute but something you know I don't it could be like something they say that can draw you right back into them all right let's see I miss hearing your voice. So yeah, definitely some blocking here. I'm not responding and I can't reach out. So this person probably cannot contact you because you possibly block them, right? So it's like you're not wanting to talk to them anymore because you know that flame is just going to go up are you know going to light up again or your some type of argument or conflict is going to break out and then it bring and then you know like oh all this sadness is going to come again right because that's what that person does it's manipulative energy it's like anything they say it sounds good like it's good on paper but their actions don't speak right they they, they there's no their words don't match up with their actions right i think that's how it goes <laughs> So let's go ahead and see what the lovers of oracles. So I feel like this message needed to come out for someone. Okay, so tarot can change all the time, but this is what needed to come through for you guys. Now let's see, what does the lovers of oracles have for you? Okay, we have two, freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You literally have four of, of uh, pentacles here too. It's in the reverse. So this is you, you know, not wanting to move forward. Okay. Um, and then the challenge, the challenge is the chariot. So you're not, you're like, don't want to make the wrong decision or go down the wrong path. And I feel like you're knowing that if you stick with this person again, it's not going to go anywhere because they, you know, there's been so many chances. All right, let's see. It says when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. All right, cancer. 
big messages right there for you, okay? And then we have time. You are trying too hard, give it time. And I feel like that's more of patience. I don't feel like you're trying too hard. I feel like time will tell, okay? Like give yourself time as you are, you know, relax your mind, however, when this person tries to come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here for you, can uh, Cancer. So if this message does resonate or helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for August. God bless.